thank you uh, chandresh bhai for this uh, uh, nice and sweet uh, introduction and uh, thanks uh, bhupesh bhai for giving this me opportunity so uh, we will directly start with the uh, today's uh, topic so in next uh, 10 to 15 minutes we are going to talk about kidney transplantation topic given to you as kidney transplantation covering kidney transplantation in 15 minutes is actually not possible but i would just like to give brief view ke apne kidney transplantation su sena mate karvu jiye su advantages su disadvantages se so uh, we can just start Uh, my uh, PPT is uh, visible. Not, not. Now. Yeah, it is visible now. Yes. So uh, basically, uh, what is kidney transplant? The uh, kidney transplant uh, is a uh, basically treatment of choice for patients with ESRD and stage renal disease. So we know that uh, whenever any patients are having uh, kidney failure, chronic kidney disease. Basically, they are having three options of renal replacement therapy. One is hemodialysis. We know that in hemodialysis, patient has to go two to three times per week to hospital and get dialysis done. Second is peritoneal dialysis. Peritoneal dialysis is something which can be done at home with the help of a plastic uh, pipe which is inserted in the abdomen and with the help of water bags. And the third and best option of renal replacement therapy is kidney transplantation. It provides better long-term survival and improves the quality of life as compared to hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis. Patient survival and transplant success has been progressively improving over the last few years. Can somebody uh, change this? Yes. So uh, basically, what is the uh, history of renal transplant? So first renal transplant was a successful renal transplant was uh, done in 1954 by Joseph P. Murray. In this uh, transplant was carried uh, between identical twins and there was no immunosuppression uh, used in this case because they were identical twins. So what are the benefits? Why we have to encourage any patients of ESID to go for renal transplant? Because there is significant reduce in mortality, life expectancy increases. There is significant reduce in the risk of heart attack, stroke, heart failure. There is a reduction in infection related hospitalization. It improves quality of life and these patients are more likely to stay employed. So this is a chart which is showing life expectancy. And we see a patient who are on uh, hemodialysis, the relative risk of death is about one. And the patients who have been done ideal donor kidney transplant, the relative risk of mortality is somewhere between 0.25 to 5. And the patients who have been done transplant with marginal kidney donor, relative risk of mortality is about 0.75. So the purpose of showing is that the overall the mortality of patients of ESRD who has undergone transplant is lower as compared to the patients of ESRD who are undergoing hemodialysis. So this is the benefit. Similarly, this is another chart which is showing life expectancy, patient survival rate by dialysis and transplant. And we see if uh, this is the percentage of patients and this is the life uh, patient on dialysis. So after five years, only about 15% of the patient on dialysis will survive. Whereas patient who has undergone transplant after five years, about 80 to 90% of the patient will survive. So the message is survival benefit. Any patients of ESID who undergo renal transplant has got much, much more chances of survival, much more chances of life expectancy as compared to the patient of ESID who are remaining on hemodialysis. So this is again chart which is showing cardiovascular benefits, just like survival benefits. This is the cardiovascular risk for general population. This is risk for kidney transplant and this is risk for dialysis patients. So highest mortality, cardiovascular mortality is seen in patients who are undergoing dialysis. Uh, this group of patients, ESID, if they undergo kidney transplant, then the risk of cardiovascular mortality significantly drops down from 10% to 0.1%. So there have been numerous studies which have shown that this transplant will improve the quality of the life. Life satisfaction, physical, emotional well-being and ability to do work increases in renal transplant uh, recipient. Uremic complications are uh, reversed and fertility returns. Again, this is a very, very important uh, thing. P 
female patients esrd who are undergoing hemodialysis usually doesn't conceive but however if the patient undergoes renal transplantation then there are chances that patient fertility returns and patient can conceive in addition there is a lot of socio economic benefit patient who are uh, who have undergone renal transplant will able to do their normal routine works whereas patients who have undergoing hemodialysis are usually weak they are having lot of complications so less likely that they will do their routine work mean cumulative cost of dialysis and transplant are equal for one year however after the one year transplant is more cost effective as compared to hemodialysis what are the contraindications for renal transplant apu incompatibility however at this moment it is not considered contraindications because they are now apu incompatible transplant also ongoing then cytotoxic antibodies against hla antigens of the donor recent or active malignancy this is very important contraindication any active infection any active extra renal disease non compliant psychiatric illness and primary oxalosis in which combined renal and uh, liver transplant is recommended so these are the few contraindication for renal transplant so coming to recipient selection so recipient or the patient should have general medical condition is seen cardiovascular screening is very very important most of the patients of esrd diabetic we have to rule out underlying cardiovascular disease if required cag angiography has to be done then age appropriate routines cancer screening as we have just talked that cancer is a uh, active malignancy is a contraindication so in female pap smear mammography colonoscopy or psa in men rule out any active infections like hiv hepatitis tb we have to rule out any presence of preformed antib antibody by doing panel reactive antibody and psychological evaluation including compliance because post renal transplant they need to take medicines and if compliance is poor then there is chances of graft rejection so what about the kidney donor who can be donor so donor can be living related donor living unrelated donor is not permitted or it may be cadaveric donor which may be heart beating or non heart beating so living donor has to be evaluated on the basis of physical medical and psychological ground one more most important thing is that we have to assure patient then there would be no long term problem to the donor all our patient i tell them that you can meet already kidney donors who has donated their kidney 5 years back 10 years back 15 years back and i assured them that donor would be totally normal because a very common question is that after donating kidney the donor will become weak there may be some medical problem but it's not like that the donor remains absolutely normal and living donor procedure are now mostly laparoscopic and hence it is less painful less scarring and there is faster recovery so criteria for living donor selection is it should they should be highly motiv uh, motivated excellent medical condition with normal renal function abo blood group compatible hla identical with negative cross match matching between uh, recipient and donor is done after blood group there may be tissue typing it is determined by six antigens located on the hla gene and class 1 antigen and class 2 antigens are usually matched so there is a terminology known as preemptive transplant in which transplant is done before dialysis is started whenever we are having young patients or even for that elderly patients who are having creatinine of 6 7 and they are having impending dialysis we can offer them preemptive transplant even before the dialysis is started what are the benefits it reduces the rejection rates by 25% it improves graft survival for long term it improves patient survival there is a less delayed graft function and decrease overall hospitalization coming to in short regarding the transplant operation usually it takes 2 to 3 hours donor's kidney will be placed in the lower abdomen arteries veins from the recipients as connected to the new kidneys final step is to connect the ureter of the new kidney to the recipient bladder the new kidney usually start functioning immediately and normal graft function would be achieved between 3 to 5 days in case of living transplant and maybe 7 to 10 days in uh, cadaveric transplant so this is a simple graft this is transplanted kidney so this is the ureter which is connected to the recipient bladder and these are the arteries and vein which is connected to the external iliac artery and external iliac vein this is again the same thing this is the graft which is placed in right iliac fossa the ureter is connected to the bladder and the renal artery and renal vein is connected to the recipient this is external iliac artery and external iliac vein this is a small information regarding the transplant surgery again the same thing graft and uh, connections 
So principle of immun immunosuppressive therapy, this is required indefinitely whole life for the any patients with renal transplant. However, the benefit of successful transplant usually outweighs the risk of chronic immunosuppression. Large doses of immunosuppression drugs are usually required the early post-transplant period, that is early first year. After that, as the, uh, the days pass, the amount of immunosuppression is reduced and multi-drug regimens are usually employed. As a, as a standard matter, we are using triple immunosuppression, steroid, CNI, tacrolimus cyclosporine, along with anti-metabolite like MMF or Sazora. What are the complications of renal transplant? Immediate complications may be transplant rejection. Then there are more chances, sometimes chances of infection and sepsis, post-transplant malignancy, lymphofluoridative disorders, electrolyte disturbance, and etrogenic side effects like drug-related, steroid-related side effects. What are the major causes of long-term allograft failure, chronic rejection, and one of the many main causes, death with functioning graft. So the graft survival is very, very good. Mostly about 80% of the graft survive for about 10 years. What are the most common cause of death after kidney transplantation? Cardiovascular disease is the most common cause of death after kidney transplantation. Second is infection. So what are the take home messages? So kidney transplant is the best treatment option for patients of ESRD. Kidney transplant save lives, improves quality of life and save cost. The living kidney transplant is safe and it provides better outcome. Preemptive transplant is also good and is also advantageous. Thank you.